So we're going to go ahead and download our Hitchcock movies. I'm going to put it into our Lesson 5 folder. And then we're going to open that in VS Code. Now I'm going to keep my cake stuff open because we're not done with it. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Hitchcock. And you can see I've got a minimal CSS in here. I've got something in here to center the table. And I've got some styling in here for my H1, which I already have in the page. Now, if you want to see what this looks like so far, and I do recommend kind of looking at it as you go, especially when you're first learning, that's what it looks like so far. Now, what we're going to be doing is adding the elements to create a table. So we're going to go back out into VS Code. And in the body, right below our H1, this is where our table tag is going to go. So we've got the opening table tag, and it's typically in this opening tag that you'd say how wide the table is going to be. The default is 100%, so it would span the width of your page. Most people do not want their tables to be that wide. So we're going to make it 50%. And then we are going to apply this class of center, which will center align our table. So we're going to say class equals center. And then let's go ahead and put that closing tag in right away so we don't forget. And then for the table, I'm going to put the rows in first, and then I'm going to come back and put in the grouping information. So kind of the way this works is you have an opening table row, and you've got a closing table row. And in between, you have the columns. And the columns are either going to have a table heading, th tag, or a table detail, T, td tag. And for each one of those tags, it'll create a separate column. So we're going to have three columns, and this first little row is going to be our headings. So we've got th. Let's do a closing th. We need three of those. So I'm going to copy. Control B to paste. And between my opening and closing TH, I'm going to key in the headings that I want displayed. Okay, that's my first row. Now I'm going to create another row at my opening TR, closing TR, and I'm going to do three columns again. But these are not headings, so these are going to have the TD tag. And I need three of these. Control C, doing a Control V to paste. So this is going to be like a normal row. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten of those rows. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste. So here's one, two, three. I don't know why it's throwing that last one off. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to kind of delete these extras here because I like everything to line up. I just think it's much easier to find problems if things line up right.
get a little carried away there. Good thing we're almost done. This is tedious. There. Oh, a lot of work getting that table in there. So it looks like it probably should pull it back one more. All right, so let me save this. I would hate to have to redo that. Now, in my first row, first column, I've got 1954. In my first row, second column, I have rear window. And then in my first row, third column, I have James Stewart. Now there is more than one star in this movie. So we've got our second row. It's the same year, the same movie, but we're gonna add another star. So that's going to be in the third column. And that is Grace Kelly. Okay, so then we start our third row as far as our detail information goes. This is 1954. Dial M for murder. And I love old Hitchcock movies, and that's part of the reason I chose uh, to do this for an example. So we've got Dial M for murder, and that's Grace Kelly. Okay, and there was another actor in there, so it's still on our next row. We're still on 1954 Dial M for murder. We're going to add the actor, Ray Milland. And then we get to another movie. And now it is 1956. And this was The Man Who Knew Too Much. And that is Jimmy Stewart. Gotta love Jimmy Stewart. Okay, and he started in that with Doris Day. So same movie. Same year, same movie. Got to add Doris Day. And then we get into a new movie. And this was 1958. And the movie is Vertigo. And Jimmy Stewart again. And he started in this with Kim Novak. So we're going to come down here, same year, same movie. I'm going to add Kim here to my star column. And it looks like, oh, god darn, I missed one. Okay, so not a big deal. Let me cut and paste that. I'm going to do Control and X to cut. And paste it down here. All right, so we're on our last one. Yay, okay, so uh, for this last one, we got 1963, and the movie was The Birds. Honestly, when I see large flocks of birds, I think of this movie. <laughs> Rod Taylor is our star, and then the other star in the movie, we're gonna put in this third column in the next row, it was Tippy Hedren. And at this point, we're gonna save. Uh, because we have basically uh, all of the required elements in the table. The only thing we're missing are groupings. 
And groupings come in handy uh, if you want to apply styling. So we're going to go ahead and add the groupings. They are not going to change how the table looks at this point because we haven't specified any styling. But let me show you where we're at here. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. And adding these groupings is not going to change that. But we're going to go ahead and do that. So our heading section needs to go in a group called table head or T head. It has an opening and it's got a closing. We're going to put the closing right after the first row because that first row is where our heading is. Okay. And then after the heading, this is the body of the table. So it's T body. And that is going to go all the way to the bottom, right above the closing table. That's where we will put the closing T body. And we're going to add another row. So we're going to add a footer just so that we can kind of cite where we got this information from. So we're going to put T foot. And let's go ahead and throw that closing in. And then we need an opening TR. And let's press enter. And we need our closing TR. And then because our table is dealing with three columns, we are also going to put three columns in here. And, you know, if you don't like to type that much, you can, at this point can copy, paste, so we get the three columns. And the information is going to be in the first column. So we're going to say information retrieved from, and let's give it the web address. Count the zeros here. One, two, three, four zeros and two threes. All right. Now, if you want to add site to this, you can. Uh, you don't have to. It's not in the example. Probably is a little bit more proper to do that, though. So there we go. So I'm going to save. Now this T foot section you are going to see because that's got new text in it that wasn't there before. So let me reload. Okay, so we have the T foot. Now you're going to say, wow, that really messed up my table. Okay, because now that first column is way too big. Uh, and we are going to be obviously doing quite a bit of styling to this um, because we don't want that first column to be so large. Okay, so no worries, we are going to be fixing all of this when we get into table formatting.